down, say, hi. Football is back. Foosball. This past weekend started 22 straight weeks of NFL and college football. So who are y'all going for? I don't know, I don't really care. Wow. It was a highlight packed weekend, but there were a few changes that I never thought I would see. First is Tom Brady and the Gronk and Tampa Bay jerseys. Tom Brady is now the oldest player in the league. Next is Cam Newton as the starting quarterback for the Patriots. There's also Jason Winton as the tight end for the Raiders. And lastly, Ron Rivera is the head coach for the Washington football team. Let's go ahead and welcome the youngest person we've ever had on Ibble. This is Adi Adara. What's up, Adi? Hey, everyone. I'm Adi Adara. I'll be going into my senior year of high school, and I teach personal finance on TikTok and on all of my social media. And I'm super excited that Ibble reached out. I am an Ibble creator as well. And I love posting to Ibble because of how active and engaging that the audience is and that proves it with this, with this new show. So I'm excited to be a part. And as a young person, I love the news. Uh, so it's really empowering to be a part of it. Did you watch the football games this weekend? Did you see anything? Are you interested in football? I, I personally don't watch football. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a great, great some like for me to to hang out with my friends and talk about. So I follow my my local team, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, but outside of that, you know, I did hear the news about Tom Brady being the oldest player, which is which is great. You know, I remember hearing him wanting to retire for maybe like the past four years, but you know, here he is back again. Uh, and that's awesome. <laughs> Trick or no treat? COVID strikes again is taking Halloween and Christmas candy from us. The soft marshmallow baby chickens known as Peeps sadly won't be with us this year. Just Born Quality Confections, the Pennsylvania-based company, halted production back in April to protect the health and safety of its staff. The pause in production also affects the production of hot tamales and Mike and Ike candies. Before the pandemic, about 5.5 million Peeps were made per day, roughly 2 billion per year. Production for Peeps has been pushed back through Valentine's Day next year. How do you feel about not having some Peeps this year? your Audi for Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. Peeps, Peeps isn't is on anybody's list. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think uh, I think that marshmallow sugary gets a little tiring after one or two. So you know, uh, maybe they should focus the production somewhere else. <laughs> you know, it'll be the end of the world if peeps aren't around for Easter because that's kind of like their peak season. But two billion peeps made per year—that's a lot. Peeps it are going crazy for peeps. peeps. I guess T.I. took his song, You Can Do Whatever You Like, a little too seriously. The rapper was charged by Securities and Exchange Commission in a fraudulent cryptocurrency operation. The SEC accused T.I. film producer Ryan Felton and three others of promoting unregistered and fraudulent initial coin offerings, which was reportedly controlled by Felton. T.I. is required to pay a 75,000 civil monetary penalty and cannot participate in offering or sales of digital asset securities for at least five years. Adi, I am interested to hear hear your hot take being the finance guru about this. TI went from wearing chains to being a little bit too focused on blockchains and uh, I think we've all had a little bit of experience with with cryptocurrency, especially recently with TikTok's quote unquote pump and dump, where a bunch of investors inflated the price of Dogecoin, which is a meme that like the Doge, right? Like the Inu, like that dog that's on like every meme. And they uh, all inflated the price really, really high and left a bunch of small investors behind when they didn't know when to sell. Uh, and so the price of Dogecoin went up 0 0.003 cents, um, which, you know, is a lot in crypto and it's really hard to understand. And um, that's similar to what TI was doing with inflating the price of his uh, Spark, I believe was the name of the cryptocurrency that he was inflating uh, using investors' money. And you know, that's a dangerous game to play with, with anything, right? So uh, you're always gonna leave someone behind is, is when, you, when you're when you inflating the price of a coin because not everyone is know, gonna know when to sell. There's a lot of beginner investors out there today, especially with like Robinhood and other trading app, like applications. Um, so, you know, I think that SEC fine is a good note uh, for everyone else to pay attention to. Um, you know, Elon Musk was charged with an SEC fine too. Um, so it, it's good. It's good to, to have that awareness out there that don't, don't do that. <laughs> I may be a little behind the curve, but I have never seen anything like this before. Iron Man is about to become real. Gravity Industries recently just released a video highlighting a test flight 
in their new jet suit, and I'm not sure what to think of it. The jet suit is powered by five micro jet engines, has a record speed of 85 miles per hour, and can fly for five to 10 minutes. And the suit currently costs $440,000. What are we supposed to think about this? Okay, so here's my only problem, right? So I, so I watched the video and he has his like thrusters behind him and you know, going through, he has a helmet. Uh, what happens when you get an itch on your face? Like, how do you, like, Whoa. how are you gonna itch that, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, get your tongue and uh, you gotta ah. do one of these things to try to get yeah. it. But yeah, that's a that's a very uh, good concern. That's true, and he has stuff on his hands too. Like, what is he gonna do, burn his face off? Some call it snail mail, but is the USPS starting to get even slower? In August, the Postal Service shared data about how mail was getting backed up, but what is the cause for the slowdown? Typically, delivery trucks were held at the storing facility until all mail was on board. But in late July, a change was made that ordered trucks to depart on time, which potentially delayed mail for an entire day. COVID has also had an impact on longer distance mail deliveries in cities that were affected more. The likely cause of this is due to the staff not being able to work. Adi. What do you make of the whole situation with the USPS? You know, what I think is really interesting is that the USPS workers have to, you know, give a little pledge, right? Like the neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these couriers away from the completion of their appointed rounds or something like that. Um, and this is something that will literally stop their like them from completing their stuff, right? Because it's going to slow down the mail. They've been taking those boxes like where people put their mail in out and just moving them away and they've been saying like hey yeah we were moving them away because they were supposed to be moved away a couple of years ago and then so where are the new ones right like yeah. where, where's where's anything going they're just taking them out and saying that they'll put them in back after the election and that poses a serious serious problem and the the head like the like the ceo of usps has ties with ups and with fedex and other like big mailing services um which that poses an even bigger problem right like why is there this government program that is having uh like corporate ties and uh that's gonna have a serious impact i mean that's all politics right like trump everyone has has corporate ties they're, they're politicians uh so you know that there should be a line drawn and should be drawn before the election hopefully <laughs> Could a presidential debate occur on a podcast? Tim Kennedy recently was on the Joe Rogan Experience and a discussion occurred about having the two presidential candidates on. Tim Kennedy tweeted about it and Donald Trump replied saying he would do it. The debate would be four hours long with no live audience with the countdown on for the presidential race. How likely do you think that this is going to happen? I think we all remember back in uh, 2016, there was this one character, like person that was sitting behind the presidential election. I think his name was Ken. He had like a red t-shirt on and he became this global meme. Other than that, I don't think we're gonna be missing much. Uh, I think that, um, you know, having in-person debates and having people actually there is good to really vet the debate, right? Like if something, like they cut something out, uh, but if they if they're doing something like wrong with the debates, whether they're cutting out important messages or important clips, then it's important to have people there to like vet that. Um, but I, I'm sure that neither side would like to have their parts cut out. And uh, if, if it's if it is two v if it's one v one, right, then uh, they're gonna sort of vet each other. And I think it's important to have these debates. They really do change the outcome of the election at times. They really do. Uh, show what what people's opinions really are about certain matters. But then again, there's so much polarization in the United States, like hyperpolarization, that uh, people are gonna vote for their party rather than the, the policy. So, mm -hmm. you know, debates are good, but if people don't even care about the policies, then the, that's a problem with the debate itself. Thanks for tapping into the daily news with us. And thank you so much to Adi for joining us. Hey, Adi, um, we loved all the information that you gave us. I know a lot of other people out there would love to learn more about you. Where can we find you and see what you're working on? First and foremost on Ibl, it's at Adi.Adara. And I post uh, quite a few times a week on TikTok, Adi.Adara, Twitter, Adi underscore Adara, and then Instagram and all of my other socials, it's Adi.Adara. So just search up Adi Adara, you'll be able to find it. Uh, I post personal finance content. I'll teach you how to do your stocks, how to do your taxes, how to build up your credit score, uh, all of those things. And uh, I'm excited to see you guys there. Wow. I will 100% follow you on all of that because I need help with that. <laughs> well, my name is Sherry. My name is Tanner. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Do you have a quick uh, bye? bye. <laughs> <laughs>